it is inevitable that we will all fail. And on that happy note, by the way, this is uh, the Invitability. It's a uh, space simulator that you've probably not heard of, and uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's a space simulator slash crafting video game, actually. Uh, you explore various planets and then you mine them for materials and you can choose from like five different factions. There's like a monkey faction where they had uh, tests done on them. Then there was like some sort of lizard faction. I didn't read their backstory. Then the humans, you know about them. Then uh, I think there was like a bird and maybe frog. I don't know. I, I don't remember the other factions anyways. But pretty much the catch is when you're flying your ship around, you start off with this really small like jetpack sort of like solar jetman ship and uh, you know from there you, your next goal is to build up from there and this bigger s spaceship and you have to mine to get the um, crafting crafted stuff to build this ship the, the essential uh, parts the different uh, materials and anyways um, so you start off with this mini ship and it can overheat if you fire your lasers to blast them the uh, different parts of the planet and you get a lot of dirt. I don't know where all the dirt goes. Maybe it gets incinerated when you get rid of the heat. Uh, but that's a detail that's not really shown ever. So pretty much you're blasting away, you're tripping, uh, chipping away at this planet and so you have to vent very frequently. Um, I would say with after a few seconds. So it's a, it's a constant sort of um, mini task, subtask that you have to do to continue mining. And so the controls are pretty simple. V to vent. Um, I don't think there was any controller support. I could be wrong. I, I never really got to use a controller for this game. And then this basic WASD to move. Uh, C to heal. I never got damaged. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe you can only get damaged by uh, um, other ships, but I had materials falling, uh, sort of coming towards me after, when I was mining, and uh, sometimes I didn't manage to use the beam and teleport them towards me, uh, and that never damaged me. So I think it's only other ships that can hurt you. Um, so, anyways, the graphics feel like SNES quality, uh, so that you're not going to write home about this game at all, really. Um, but the focus here is clearly on the gameplay and the, it's like the depth of the gameplay and just you traveling and building the next ship. Uh, the music's okay and the sound effects are decent. I mean, they sort of, they're there. They're not memorable, they're not horrible, they're just, you know, there. Um, so again, the graphics are between 8 and 16 bit. Um, this game came out, I think, 2015. So. You know, don't expect a lot from the actual graphics or sound. Um, they're okay, they do the job. I just, I wouldn't say like the, the graphics in particular are pretty in this day and age. We're kind of spoiled by like cutting edge graphics and everything and this is pretty much like basic. Um, it's not insulting, it's just, it's, it's not like anything recent. Uh, it doesn't look like anything, um, you know, that would give you a wow factor. Um, the cost of mining for materials for me, like to build a bigger ship, gets really old very quickly, um, and it's that's a shame because you know it could be fun. It could be um, just the way that it's designed. I feel like it's fun for a few minutes for me. Other people, I was blown away. I've seen other reviews of this game, and people are like, "This is amazing! This is the awesomest!" I don't know. This is one of those games where I feel like I'm not playing the same game as them. So you know, whatever game they're playing, it must be amazing. Um, there are quests, but um, apparently that you can follow and choose not to follow. And yeah, I couldn't leave the first planet because I didn't have enough um, materials to build the next ship. And I think that's kind of a, a problem. Um, when I tried to leave the planet, it's like, you know, it takes me to the ship. And I'm like, well, I can't build this right now. Um, so it, that was kind of a bummer. Like, I just felt kind of stuck. There was no progression, which is a big deal for me. Um, apparently there's faction points, but apparently that no one knows the purpose of them. So I mean, what's the point of having factions if, you know, there's no point to having a faction with another uh, race in the alien race? So, um, I, I like to witness the progression and just mining with a, like an overarching, without an overarching story, 
uh, to follow a proper enemy makes the game feel kind of hollow and a little bit I'd say aimless is the nice nicest term you know there's no clear threat or enemy or progression to this game and I think that's a big deal if, if there's no motive there's no justification for uh, purpose for a game it's kind of hard to keep playing said game um, $5.99 seems to be a fair price it's not really my genre of choice to be honest I tried this a random craft shoot random game I just threw in um, so yeah I'm not big on the inherent crafting and building um, it just feels like a good time passer um, but the repetitive nature of the mining makes it just really old very fast with no clear story or objective if you can get this for three bucks you know have a blast have a good time but and if you love exploration and crafting you know maybe you'll love this game but it's just a very slower paced game and it just it doesn't really change from there um, it seems like a solid 6.5 and that's not really a bad score but it's not an amazing score it's not a horrible score um, you know just it's decently crafted but I feel like the hardcore or like maybe people like me who's not aren't big on this kind of genre you know they're just gonna they're gonna move on while other people love it so it is an inventable, so that that this is the way. So keep on gaming, enjoy inventability. Bye.